Hi, everyone. Surprise, surprise. I'm back. So I was looking at the chat and I saw that Melinda was asking about the um, the spattering and we addressed it a little bit. And then I saw the screenshot that she sent in about that it is locked. And the reason for that is because I had to make some changes because of the fires that we've been having. And I didn't have enough of the intended material in there because I wanted to do a live demonstration. I just wasn't able to do it. So I switched it to uh, the second month into the third month. and you know, so just flopped them. But what I can do is I'm going to give you a short demonstration since I have my sort of stuff st set up right now. So why don't I go ahead and do that and let's talk about it. And if anybody's there, hello. And if you're not, that's okay. So uh, this will be recorded. I see that we don't have anybody right now and that's fine. So let's go ahead and I think I can uh, change my... Um, uh, let's see my camera right here. Great. Okay, so you'll be able to watch this recording. And I know that it's a surprise. So that's why I'm just doing it. I have a scrap piece of paper here. And I've got a few different things. Now I, I addressed this in the meeting today. But we're going to try to keep this as simple as possible. So the easy way that I like to do it is just use a brush like this, any brush, you know, just like, uh, let's find one. Like here's a brush. I like to hold it a little higher up the handle like this, get my uh, brush in the water, and then I'll get some color on it. Let's just, maybe I'll make some mud here. Use whatever I've got right here. And let's do a little bit of spattering. Okay, so you can see. In fact, I'm going to bring the camera down a little bit more so you can see it. Let's try to get it a little bit closer. Okay, so that is wet on dry. Now I'm going to go over this more when we actually get a chance to work on a project. But for your information on what's going to uh, work right now, this will help you. Okay, so you saw, I'm going to do it with a smaller brush now. In fact, let's get this out of the way. I can go like this. A smaller brush is going to create smaller dots. Let's look at that. Smaller dots. I can also go like this. Now, the other thing I can do is use a toothbrush. Now, a lot of you may have a manicure that you don't want. Well, I don't know if you have manicures now, but um, we're just this. And the way I like to do it is hold my thumb on the tip, press my toothbrush down, and spatter. So you can take a look at that. Okay, that's one way of doing it. It's going to create more of a finer spray. That's a little bit larger because that's a bigger brush. This is a finer spray up here because that's a smaller, smaller brush like that, but can also end up going in a line, which I don't necessarily want. The other thing I could use is a um, any kind of stiff brush, a synthetic or a, I think this is a, I don't know the right name, but any kind of stiff brush or an acrylic brush, we can always do that and do some spattering. This is just another way to get fine spray, just like that. Let's take a look at it. That's wet on dry. Now, if I want, uh, let's see, what we can also do is take a towel like this, any kind of towel. Maybe I want to protect an area, just a paper towel like that. Or maybe I want to take a template, something like that. Let's take a look at something here. I see that the focus is going in and out. Let's get rid of that. Great. And then let's go ahead. Oops, we're going to do this because this is really stiff. Maybe I'll do a little spray like this. So we're going to protect some areas. And I'll try to spend a bit more time on this uh, later. Or what I don't mind doing is just using my hand like that to protect areas. That's a quick way of doing it. 
The other thing you can do is if you have a little knife like that, a palette knife or a card or any straight edge, you can go ahead and take a toothbrush or let's see, how am I going to do this? Like this. Let's take a look at it over here. We're going to go just like that. Maybe I'll get a little more color. Okay, so I'm going to try to protect a few areas. This is just one way that you're not going to get messy. You can also take a Kemp Kempter. I don't really use this because it actually, I think, makes a giant mess. What's interesting about this, it's got a little wooden uh, thing here. It's got a, a rod and then the brush. And then you would just get that wet, just like this, and then rotate it. But that is just kind of like... To me, I don't know. I can do things so much better with other tools, so I don't need to use that. You can also use a flat brush. Now, this one has long hair, so it's not really going to give me what I want so much because it's very, very soft. I'm looking for something that's stiff. So I'll do something with a shorter hair. So let's look at that. It's not as good as the other thing. So you're going to experiment. I like that. I'm not seeing the results that I want with this. So personally, I like the toothbrush or maybe a synthetic or a scrub brush because it's stiff. That's what I'm looking for. Something that's stiff. Now let's remove this. Okay. So now you can see that we've got little shapes in here, little protected areas, and then we have our spatter over here. So let's say we've got this and like the um, the orchid, or what is it, the lilac? Maybe what you want to do is, let's see, what do I want to do here? I'm going to get some water on this. Maybe I want to dissolve, to dissolve some of those edges, and maybe I'll add a bit more water to it. Let's create a little lilac over here. I'm going to go ahead and get my color in there. That's just one way of doing it. It's quite a mess right there. And then maybe what I'll do is I can either use water on this. This I just had more water. I didn't. Um, I just have more water on here. So I have more of a puddle on there. That's why I'm getting the different sizes. And to break it up. Maybe what I'll do is either use this brush this size or maybe one with this. Now, remember, we uh, if you were at the meeting today, we talked a little bit about globs. So if I keep on adding water into this, I can continue to get a big glob. But I want you to see all the different things that can happen. So now this is just clean water. And if I want to break it up, I can actually roll it around a little bit and touch areas. It all depends how big I want that to be. Now, before that, it just turns into one giant puddle. I'll let that dry, and then I would come back in and do the same thing and just repeat on top of it. So I think that covers the idea of the spattering. So let's see if I can go back to the other camera right now. Let's see. There I am. Okay. And let's see. I think that uh, covers what I really wanted to hopefully share with you. We've got how you can protect it with a paper towel, how you can use a little template like that, how you can use a, um, a scrub brush or just tap it. And I think that should get you on your way. And if you have any questions, go ahead and just put it in the um, chat there or within the course and we can talk about it later. And then I will try to get to that um, as soon as possible, as soon as I get my studio back together. All right, everyone, thanks so much for joining me. I know we have a few people with us, so take care and I will see you soon. Take care, bye-bye.